Yeah, do a barrel! Coming! Time to work! Okay! You barely got a D on your last test. I'm gonna have to give you one more problem to see if you've learned anything. This thing is huge! You have one week to solve it. I somehow have to find all the variables when I only have one number to work with! Gosh! What if I... cross-multiply the infinitive? Do you understand the implications of this? I can't help you this time. Sometimes you have to work by yourself. Think you can just sit here, sit here in my store, playing your pump commands and reading your comic and books, and not do your math homework, son? The power of the study group to help Nami with this. Please be serious. I'm Flint. That means setting the cube root will allow me to set it equal to zero. Well, the answer is an imaginary number. I just can't do it! And taking out an x minus two allows me to use the quadratic formula to find that one, five, as well as the two is a zero. But when I plug it in, I get a negative y! Do you even know how many maths I've been doing? Look, I still have- Do you even know what Euler's theorem is? What about the volume of the cube divided by, divided by the area of the base? Me and my high school education haven't went a single day used- That's actually not true, I use algebra all the time. I have to reverse engineer the problem to put the balance back to normal. Everyone in the world is after this solution. I'm from S.H.I.E.L.D. You're going to have to come with me. Just let me carry the one! Did I get it right? You could have just used special triangles!